my humble cry, in my humble cry, while on others thou art calling, Jesus, do not pass me by. Good morning, saints. I greet you in the name of Jesus Christ. I welcome you to our live stream today. Apologies for the late uh, coming. Everything happens for a reason. Last week was our week of rest and uh, uh, so many supernatural things transpired last week, particularly on Tuesday, to validate the fact that God wanted us to rest last week. And um, today there was quite a, a whole lot of things that delayed us from coming live at exactly 8 a.m. And I just want to apologize and to express my appreciation to you for uh, being patient with us and for staying online so we can pray together today. This is Tuesday the 23rd of August 2022. And... Every Tuesday is our fasting and prayer day. We are praying a very important prayer today. Men and brethren, you know, um, a lot of things that we dismissed, a lot of things that we dismissed as conspiracy theories, a lot of people we dismissed as uh, conspiracy theorists and uh, so many things we dismissed as conspiracy theories have uh, eventually turned out to be revelations revelations of what is to come most of this have turned out to be God preparing us for what's coming most of this have turned out to be um, the Lord giving us information on what is to come. And the so-called conspiracy theorists have eventually became whistleblowers and instruments in the hand of the Lord. Look around you, men and brethren, look around you. I'm even tired of watching the news. If we are disturbed to some great extent by what we see on the TV, even though we as believers are not moved because we know the, this world is not our home and there is a God. There is a God who's right behind us, in front of us. And on our both sides. Sometimes when you look at the news or listen to the news, you hear so many disturbing things. And to be honest with you, it's been proven that what we hear on mainstream media is just a tip of the iceberg. It's just nothing compared to what's actually going on. It's nothing compared to what's actually going on. There is this um, cartoon that has predicted, because in the words of Pastor Chris and so many learned people I have listened to, in fact, this is the way it is. Before they carry out anything, before they carry out their plan, they will first of all inform the world and how do they do that they encode those informations in movies and cartoons they tell us what they're about to do in movies subtle messages that the world at times will not be able to grasp 
But these people will tell you, you what they want to do before they do this. Actually, there are quite a lot of things in the recent uh, past I had wanted to share, but due to the fact that if you say things that are not what they want, if you say things that are not the narrative they are pushing, you have problem. As a matter of fact, even our page has been underperforming because of some of the things I said in 2019, which were deleted, and uh, uh, as a matter of fact, has impacted our platforms negatively. But men and brethren, today, we are praying just briefly, briefly, and I'm going to release you I'm going to release you to go pray on your own throughout the day. We are fasting 6 to 12. We are praying for protection from what's coming. Protection from what's coming. The world is so unpredictable. The world is so unpredictable. Nobody knew <laughs> that 2020 will happen on us. It happened to us the way it did. This past two years, going to three years now, nobody knew. I mean, just a handful of people saw it coming. Although we prayed, but some of the things happening are bound to happen. They are subject to playing out exactly the way you see it. But it's important we pray this one very important prayer. God's protection from what's coming. God's protection from what's coming. There are many who have shared revelations of what they perceive to be on the horizon for humanity. And many of them have been shunned and dismissed as fear mongers only God knows what's happening only God knows what's coming only God knows we can't even put our brain into it we can't even wrap our minds into it because it's disturbing the situation of nations around the world and crisis across the world just look around I won't say more than this but I just want to stay us up this morning to seek the face of the Lord for protection from what's coming I saw something the Lord showed me in a clear revelation in a clear vision and I dare not say it on this platform an action will be definitely taken against us we don't want to lose our, uh, our our avenue uh for communication this platform that took us years to build even though it has a massive 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 strikes and violation of i don't know how it came about so I won't say much, but I want to stay us up to pray for God's protection from what's coming. So many of the things yet to happen cannot be stopped from happening. So many of the things that will happen will definitely happen. You see, the scripture must be fulfilled. Men and brethren, a lot of people are going to perish a lot of people are going to perish. There are those whose lives are on the line. And these things are bound to happen because if you read the book of Revelations, particularly, and you know, there are other places across the scripture that we have this predictions, prophecies with regards to the end time events as we see it unfolding. All this will happen. Famine, drought, 
extreme heat, extreme weather, all of these things are documented here. And they are subject to happen. There is no amount of prayer that will stop them. Wicked men and women will rise up and will make many suffer. All of these things are in the scriptures. Wars and rumors of wars. All of these things are in the prophecies of the Bible. So, we are only going to pray for God to protect us from what's coming. Protect us and our loved ones from what's coming. He's a faithful God. You see, in Psalms 91 verse 4, the Bible says, He shall cover thee with his feathers, and under his wings shalt thou trust his truth shall be thy shield and buckler. He shall cover thee with his weathers. You need covering. I need covering. You and your family, all of us, and our loved ones need covering. We need to be covered. We need to be covered. We need to be covered from dark winters. We need to be covered from arrows of darkness. We need to be covered from diabolical things done against humanity. We need to be covered from the arrows of the devil and his cohorts. We need to be covered from the storm, from the rain, from the fires of the wicked. We need to be covered. And the only where, the only place, the only place where we can find this absolute covering is in God. Not in your mansion. Not in your off-grid uh, situate, situated uh, uh, home or off-grid uh, lifestyle no none of this will ensure your safety not just to go live off-grid not in your in the comfort of your home with those gates and dogs everywhere the only covering we need is in God uh, I dare to say that is not even in, you know, it's not even in that, it's not even in that, it's not even in, you know what I mean? I'm not going to say anything before the page disappears, before our platforms get taken away. The only covering is in God. Whether what comes is in the air, in the water, wherever, the only place we can find absolute safety and protection is in the Lord. And He shall cover thee on. He shall cover the uh, 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 under His wings with His feathers. Under His wings shall thou trust. In God we trust. My trust is in God. In Him we trust. Not in some personality over there telling us what comes next and giving us reasons to trust them. I mean, many people we've trusted had betrayed us. Many. Many. You, you, you find out that at some point people put trust in a government and the government they trusted with their very own life betrayed them under the wings of the lord we shall trust under the wings of the immortal and invisible god we shall trust under his wings in his covering we shall be safe. We shall relax. 
we shall sleep with both eyes closed under his wings. And his truth shall be thy shield and buckler. What is the truth of the Lord? <laughs> mm. The truth is outside him, there is no protection. Outside him, there is no protection. That is the truth. That is the truth. That is the truth. That your most trusted friend can fail you today, can fail you anytime. That is the truth. That even your own family can betray you. That is the truth. The best place to put your trust is in God. That is the truth. That is the absolute truth. And so this morning, men and brethren, I am making a call for prayer. I'm calling on all of us, wherever we are, across the world, wherever you are, watching this. I'm calling on you to embark on a serious prayer today for protection from what's coming. I say it again. I want to reiterate. I cannot say it on this platform. What I saw is so raw, is so real, and it sent a shiver down my spine. It's so, it's so, it's so, it's surreal what I saw. We need to seek God in prayer. 6 to 12 today for protection from what's coming. Hallelujah. To begin this prayer, I just want us to know that God has done a wonderful thing for us. And what is it I'm speaking of? He has been so kind, so faithful, so gracious to keep us in the know. To keep us informed. You see? For exposing the activities of the enemy. Exposing the plans of the wicked. Exposing the plans of the wicked. The, the reason why in most of my messages and prayers... I address the issues of the enemy is not that I can just ignore the subject of the enemy and carry on with other things but we have individual assignments there are so many of us that God has armed to deal with the enemy specifically I fought spiritual battles of different category and the scale on behalf of people on behalf of my family, on be I'm in the center of my deliverance calling, and I take every uh, opportunity that presents itself to shed light on the activities of the enemy and what's going on. So we may wake up, we may wake up, buckle up. To stop the enemy right in his tracks. Submit yourselves therefore to God. Resist the devil and he shall flee from you. Our battle is not against flesh and blood. That's why I'm not a motivational speaker. I don't minister nor pray to get, to get one excited. Our battle is against principalities and powers. So we deal with them spiritually and physically we have the desired result. Praise God. Lift your voice and pray. Say, Father, thank you for revealing all these things to us. All these things to us, Father, thank you for revealing them. Most of the people that speak the truth, most of the people that are worth hearing when it comes to matters of the end time and matters of uh, this whole thing that we see unfolding here and there in every nation of the world most of them are not allowed on this conventional platforms a lot of them can only be found on places like telegram and all of those places there's a lot going on and god has been revealing so many things that the mainstream media has censored out 
Give him the glory for everything. Thank you, Father, for revealing all those things to us. Thank you, O God, for uncovering the plans of the wicked. Thank you, Jesus, for all of these things you have given us the chance to learn about. Be glorified. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Hallelujah. Listen. In him, there is safety. In him, there is protection. Oh, there is a song I sing almost whenever I pray for God's protection. It says, The rock that never fails, let me hide in you. Let me hide in you. In you there is life. The rock that never fails. Let me hide in you. Let me hide in you. In you there is life. Men and brethren, the other day I poured out, I took some water from the tap. I wanted to drink. I wanted to drink the water. The moment I brought the cup close, ah, I stopped. Something is not right. Huh? Why is the tap water brown? Sometimes greenish. It is not crystal clear like water we used to know. Huh? I was like, Jesus, what are, what are we putting into our body? Then I went with that thirst. I bought two five liters of uh, steel water. And I poured the cup. You, you can tell the difference. This one is like is muddy in color, like I don't know what it is, and this is the water we, you know, I grew up knowing. God, what is going on? And unfortunately, not everyone is paying attention to these things. I don't know. I don't know. In South Africa, it looks like everyone is coughing. Like, not just cough. There's so, so many things I wouldn't want to talk about. Oh, Jesus, I wish I can talk. I just wish. But whatever it is, child of God, let us pray now. Father, protect us from what's coming. <laughs> we don't know what will happen the next hour. We don't know what will, ha what will happen the next day. We don't know what uh, 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 extent a nuclear explosion, what extent of devastation a nuclear explosion may cause. We just don't know. Hey, there is a lot on the horizon. But God is with us. No shaking. Pray in Jesus' name. Father, protect me and my family from what's coming. Protect me and my family from what's coming in the name of Jesus. Another pilot of an Ethiopian airline dozed off, slept off, while uh, 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 approaching his uh, destination. He, he couldn't land. He just... What happened? Ah, Oga pilot, you're supposed to land here. Hmm? Our family and friends are down there waiting for us. What is happening? Pilot, pilot, pilot. He was fast asleep. What's going on? What's going on? And this is how a plane can fall from the sky. Fall from the sky just like that because something mysterious happened to the pilot. And uh, most aircrafts carries more than 200 people 
And if that kind of a thing happens, oh my God, Father, protect us from what's coming. Kara de barienda la bahaya. We are not afraid, though. This prayer is not born out of fear. It's not born out of worry. It is born out of necessity. It is necessary that we pray in this manner. Father, <laughs> I want to be relaxed in knowing that God got me. No matter what happens, I am okay. I'm fine. I'm no shaking. Father, protect me from what's coming. Protect me from what's coming. See, companies are closing down, and you never know what's coming, what is in, what is uh, 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 coming for your company. What's coming for you? You don't know what's going to happen to your, to your source. You just, you just don't know. But let us pray, Father. Protect us from what's coming. In the mighty name of Jesus. Protect us. Protect us. Pray that prayer like you mean it. Ask God to protect you. From whatever may come. Ask him to protect you. <laughs> Honestly. It won't be a wise thing to. Ah no. Ah no. I don't, I, don't, I don't mind. Whatever. Anything. Whatever happens. Whatever happens. Some might think I'm just fear mongering. Some might think uh, I, I don't have enough faith. Some might think I'm just putting people under duress. No, this is necessary. You see, we just pray this prayer and allow the Spirit of God to uh, allow ourselves to be soaked by the Spirit of God, by the anointing of the Lord in such a way that, you know, we get that warmth from the Holy Spirit. No matter what, we know we are covered. For he shall give his angels charge over us to keep us in all our ways. They shall bear us up in their uh, hands, lest we dash our feet, uh, our feet against the stone. The Spirit of the Lord is here. Pray, Father, protect me. Protect me, my children, my wife, my family, all the friends and partners of this ministry. And everyone, as a matter of fact, watching this live stream, Father, protect us from what's coming. Protect us from what's coming in the name of Jesus. Now, this is a very serious prayer point that you can go the whole day praying, speaking to the Father, speaking to the Father, asking heaven to protect you from what's coming. And so shall it be in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. And amen. It's past nine. That's the exact time our prayer is supposed to end. I want to pray for you now. I want to pray for you. I want to stand in the gap for you now in prayer to stop what's coming from affecting you. In Jesus' mighty name. I pray for any man, woman, boy, girl, whosoever is under the sound of my voice watching this stream i pray for you now may you be protected from whatsoever is coming in the name of jesus christ may you be protected in jesus mighty name may you be protected i mean there's been a lot going on these days people showing up in the mall and shooting everyone people appearing in a public place and you know shooting everyone I've seen it happening in other countries around the world. And I thought, oh no, maybe, uh, whatever. Until it happened in South Africa, right under my nose. It's happening. It's happening. And those people who are injured, those people whose lives uh, are taken away from them in the process are human beings with future, with aspirations, with plans, with family. I know people that loves them. I pray the Lord protects you from the aggressive and the dangerous out there in the public. In the name of Jesus, be protected from whatsoever may have been programmed and planned today. May you be protected in the name of Jesus Christ. <laughs> uh, some would say, I have got to come online to speak, highlight on this, some of these things and 
call a prayer point. Yeah. I have to. I have to. And if we lose this place, this platform, you must know that is because I stood up in prayer for uh, I stood up in prayer for the saints of God and against the onslaught of the enemy. May the Lord protect you in the name of Jesus Christ. May the Lord protect you. May the Lord protect you. May the Lord protect you from whatever is coming in Jesus' mighty name. May the Lord protect you from airborne diseases. Ah, someone say that the rainwater is no longer safe for drinking. <laughs> I can't go into that now. But I pray the Lord protects you. Protect you from waterborne diseases. Protect you from airborne diseases. Protect you in the name of Jesus. Even the tap water you drink. May the Lord protect you from any contamination or whatsoever that may damage your organs. In the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for you. Someone said, I don't trust the banks. And really, there's a lot going on. If you look into the matter... It will blow your mind entirely. All right? May the Lord protect you from every manipulation. May the Lord protect you even from scammers, protect you from anything that will break your heart. In Jesus' mighty name. May God protect you from whatsoever is coming. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. There's this river, River Ephraim. And the Bible says that when the river dries, when the river dries to a certain level, an angel will be released and when the angel is released the angel of death the angel is going to kill up to one third of the world uh, world's population <laughs> hey jesus all those things are documented all those things are in the scriptures and what we are seeing now is the word of god playing out before our eyes so that an angel will be released and when the angel is released is going to take out a lot of people so many are so many lives are going to perish. Hey, Jesus, may the Lord protect you from whatsoever is coming. Hey, I pray that you get the whole point of this um, prayer today and sincerely seek the Lord until afternoon. Throughout the day, if you can, ask Him specifically specifically oh god my father and my god protect me and my family from what's coming there's a lot is coming it's coming it's coming preachers like um perry stone is at the uh, front line of those who advocate for all sort of prepping all sort of preparations i preached a message some weeks ago on stock up you know get yourself prepared from what's coming so we can be taken on our ways if you have extra money extra change buy something and keep buy something and keep not just for yourself for your children for your loved ones and for those who cannot help themselves it's coming, it's going down real soon. But whatever comes, may the Lord protect us in Jesus' mighty name. Be protected in Jesus' name. Amen. Now I'm leaving you with that prayer point. Lord, protect me. Pray with understanding. Pray uh, with uh, the inspiration of the Holy Spirit. Open up your mind and let the Spirit of the Lord inspire you. Pray this prayer. Lord, Protect me from what's coming. Open your mind. You're going to see things. You're going to see things. You're going to visualize. And the Lord will direct you on areas to, to pray. All right? In Jesus' mighty name. Now, this anointing for divine protection. Anointing for divine protection. As you're watching this, I anoint you today in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. Be anointed right now. I anoint you wherever you are. In Jesus mighty name by this anointing I pray you be protected in Jesus mighty name be protected 
Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flyeth by day, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasted at noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. Only with thine eyes shalt thou behold and see the reward of the wicked. Because thou hast met the Lord, which is my refuge, even the, uh, uh, the Most High, thy habitation. There shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over thee, to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear thee up in their hands, lest thou dash thy foot against the stone. Thou shalt tread upon the lion and the other, the young lion and the dragon shalt thou trample on the feet, because you have set your love upon the Lord. Therefore, he will deliver you, and uh, he will set you on high, because you have known his name. I Kataya. You shall call upon him, and he will answer you and will be with you in trouble and will deliver you and honor you with long life with long life with long life with long life he shall satisfy you and show you his salvation in jesus mighty name you shall be satisfied with long life i anoint you today for divine protection your health be protected your finances be protected your life be protected your ha ha family your asset everything your job will be protected your business will be protected i anoint you today in jesus mighty name amen and amen you are anointed for divine protection listen you are not alone you are not alone if you've been feeling alone this whole time don't feel that way again god is with us no shaking god is with us no shaking god is with us no shaking come what may god is with us no shaking god is with us no shaking let it be your confession today let it stick to your lips god is with us no shaking god is with us no shaking hey, there's no reason to worry no reason to fear nothing nothing although there are things happening out there the reality is there is right in front of us but god is with us no shaking hallelujah it is well please be sure to sacrifice your breakfast if you have not eaten please fast 6 to 12 wait on the lord unless you are on a very 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 important medication that you cannot afford to skip the morning hours your morning dose or dosage uh, beside that please fast today with us as we pray for protection from what's coming in jesus mighty name in jesus mighty name there has been quite a lot of encounters i've had in recent times <laughs> is only someone who is inviting trouble to himself or herself that would dismiss this spiritual reality as mental sickness or insanity it's only somebody who is just getting prepared to be burnt down by the wicked. You see, I had uh, an encounter. I've had encounter with several demons, a serious fight recently. All right, and I defeated them. Some came because there is someone that uh, was delivered through this ministry. There is one that appeared one in the night very tall the head was touching the roof and introduced herself itself as tall girl with no legs and when i looked the figure i saw was 
a very elongated image but had no legs. You understand me? And the mission of this demon was specified. Men and brethren, let me tell you, our battle is not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers. You need to be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. These things are real and they are serious this time. They are serious this time. All right? They want to silence you. They want to do all sorts of things to people, especially serious-minded children of God. You have to be serious. You have to be serious. And you know with each one you defeat, your rank rises in the spirit. I've had a few services after that. The moment I enter, you see the manifestation of the Holy Spirit. You see the power of the Lord moving in the midst of people. All right? We're not afraid. God is with us. No shaking. I will be praying for you. And I'm going to encourage you to do the same for others, including myself. We need each other. This is not time to tear down anybody, nor criticize one another. It is time to come together because we are one item. We are just one, one people. We are all together in this. So we stand for each other in prayer. And I tell you, we will win this battle. We've already won in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. You are protected in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. So I'm going to leave you to carry on with the prayer today. I love you so much with the love of God. And I will see you again in the next one. Do not forget our Sabbath services every Saturday. Very refreshing in Jesus' mighty name. God bless you. And I pray your August ends well. And the year 2022 ends well for you and your family. I love you so much. With the love of God. I love you. I love you. I love you. Please share the stream if you are blessed by it. It will be my joy to know that somebody, somebody, somebody is truly blessed through this ministration that you shared on your timeline or wherever you chose to share it. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. I'm Charles Edoze. Shalom. <laughs>